start off with, we're all in the last year, and that's what I requested last summer, was that I, a one-year deal. Uh, and I want to do that on, on an ongoing basis for myself. So that, I, I know this speculation comes up every year. The coach, likewise, because I suggested a one-year contract uh, for myself, that uh, I thought that uh, leaving Corey and his staff in, in the same position was the right thing to do, depending on what happens during the year. Um, I, am I happy? I, I feel for the fans. I, I feel uh, for the organization right now that we should be a better team. Uh, I think our, our performance in some of the games lately has not been nearly uh, adequate. Uh, not, I didn't see the Toronto game because I was at a college game looking at a young player, but I heard that uh, the effort was not a very good effort. And I, I, I've met with the coaches this morning and I've met with the players this morning and I indicated that uh, we are not happy. We are, we are very unhappy. Uh, what I believe we're all obligated to do in this business is to work hard. That we're all obligated to put our best foot forward as many days possible as we possibly can. And I don't think we've done that to the level that we should have. And uh, we're not happy about it. And uh, well, I talk to Eugene fairly regularly. I, I think I've stated uh, the attitude uh, in that none of us are happy. Uh, he's realistic. We've talked about uh, where we're going, what we're doing. Uh, he obviously wants to win every night, uh, like all of us do. But uh, v uh, very, very much uh, uh, in, in the discussion mode about what we can and can't do here and how we're going. and. Uh, you know, losing to Toronto in particular for him and being from Toronto and for us, uh, we don't like it. And I know the reaction was was not good based on that. But uh, other than that, he's been, uh, as I say, ongoing discussions are, are are just are okay. They're not. You know, he's not patting me in the back real hard. But but he's not. He's not. He's not. Uh, so out of it that uh, we have to do drastic things here. You, you guys can make those decisions. We we just have to do what's good for us going forward. But do you sense that you are the guy that you will go forward with, or does this oh. team have to turn around for you to get back? Oh, I, I, no, I, I'm, that's the last thing in, in, in my mind. Honestly, it, it has been. Um, uh, I know. I know. I've been planning with them. I, I certainly don't like the downturn we've taken recently. Uh, for me to say yes or no at this moment, you know, that's not, obviously I, I'm a fiery guy and I'm, I'm a guy that wants to be around uh, and I want this team to be on the upswing when I when I step away. I don't know if this is a fair question, but do you expect Corey to finish the season? I, I'm not going to answer a question like that because I don't know. Uh, we go to Chicago, we, we uh, come home and play Tampa, we, we go on the road the following week. Uh, I, I, I can't answer that uh, honestly and I've, I've talked to the staff about that. Uh, we're all in a position where we have to do a better job. I wish, I wish Robin would have made a, another stop against the Russians and uh, be in the final game tonight against Canada. It would have been uh, a heck of a task for him. Uh, I thought he played well in the tournament. I, I thought there were a couple of situations that you know, I, I, I just, I'm, a, I'm afraid, I see why we sent Jared Co uh, Cowan back. You know, he has improved so much. His mobility for a six foot five guy, his use of a stick, his, his defense ability. He wouldn't have maybe gotten that here because he wouldn't have got the opportunity in the ice time here, but this experience is terif terrific for him. And it's like, Robin, do, do you do it now? Do you wait a little bit longer? I think what I'd like to do is let him play back in uh, Binghamton over the weekend and then see how we do and then make a, make a decision based on that.